Ooh, yes, guys. What is happening? Today's video is something a bit different. Hopefully, you all like it. Stay along and watch. So let's get to it and what's in the box. Uh, let's get a Stanley and cut her open. Yes, everyone, this is a slightly different mix up of what I normally do. So, uh, for any of you usual subscribers and that are thinking what's going on, uh, this is just me trying to add a different different kind of style. Um, I'm not style, but obviously it's not just cars. So this one is protect your home video. So what we've got here is a Yale smart alarm. Uh, it's a wireless one. It's a smart. The reason being, when I'm in bed, I just go on my phone. Bosh set the alarm I didn't want to be going downstairs did the code and then going up to bed so this is the Yale smart alarm with little bits so let's uh, show you what's inside so right then so with the Yale smart alarm kit you get a smart hub siren motion detector window contact times one Keypad times one, fixing pack batteries. Uh, so, so that's you, goodness. Smart hub, key fob, two PIR sensors, and door contact. And we bought these extra. Obviously, every, you can buy numerous stuff extra as well. So, if you want more contacts, PIRs, you can all add them to the smart hub. So, this one's the key fob, and um, we've got an extra door contact. So obviously, uh, instruction manuals, we'll have a look at those and see what's the crack in there, but obviously for yourselves watching, you won't have to watch it, look at those because hopefully I'll tell you all you need. Uh, cheeky little smart hub, nice and clean, simple, I'm guessing that's probably what you screw into the wall and it just hooks on. and powers up the smart hub. Uh, it's got screws, bag of screws. Accessory pin, key pins and that obviously screws into the wall. Uh, contacts for the door. PIR system. PIR, heroes. Obviously, like your contacts, so you can't, yeah. So that'd be like that, and then I'm guessing every time the doors open and close, this motion detects. And then the big daddy. So really, you get that. that obviously that to charge it you get two PIRs and door contact obviously in our case we've got a separate one so two door contacts and a key fob as well so if it's on your keys happy days uh, and that, that is it um, straight out of the box, one issue I've noticed straight away is there is no Ethernet cable. Um, surely on a system that you pay 
three, four hundred pounds for. It should come with an Ethernet cable. Come on, man, what is going on? Uh, yep, yeah, that is the box. Let's have a look through the instructions and see how you install this baby. And the keypad, obviously, to set your alarm before you go to bed and go out and whatever. So that as well. So that is the system. Let's check it out. I take it back, guys. I take it back. I just literally went like this, and the Ethernet cable is there. So, Yale, my apologies. You do actually come with an Ethernet cable, so cracking work. So far, so good. Let's uh, let's break out the instruction manual. Right then, guys. So, off the bat of looking at the alarm. Uh, from what I can see here, uh, there's a 30 meter range test, uh, how well you see that, I don't know, focus, uh, it says there's a 30 meter range test, so I'm guessing you've got to keep the products, as, as long as you haven't got a mansion, so a house is not a mansion by any means, it's like an extended shoebox, but only joking, it's, it's, a, it's a decent size house, it's probably like an average house, uh, so I shouldn't have any problems with like the meter tests. Um, the only thing that's a bit confusing, like straight out of the box, it doesn't show you what order to like install anything. There's just like it just shows you how to like unpack the device basically. So how to like set up one device. So it'll tell you how to like set up the smart hub, and then it will tell you how to set up this. So there's no actual like ordering what you do it in from the looks of the manual. So uh, I'm basically just going to wing it and look for, do step by step, uh, so yeah, I would have thought that it would have been like step one, smart hub, step two, this, 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 but uh, looks like it, it's just whatever way you feel like it basically, so uh, let's have a go and see how we get on, hopefully it works out fine, but I can see this being a nightmare, so let's do it. So for example, in our house. Um, our modem is there, so when we get that, we'll plunk it on there, power down there, and obviously the Ethernet is just the one down there. Ethernet connector one, smart hub, Ethernet cable, power supply. Job done. So I've just checked, if you look at the back of the unit, there is a little rubber grommet on it, like so. Obviously it's not gonna focus. Um, you pull that off and then you've got a little switch in there, so get like a little key or something and just turn it on. And then I think it activates it. <sighs> so after uh, checking that, that looks like it's all set up, the smart hub, so it's all plugged in, turned on. Let's get onto the keypad. Right then, so next stage is the like, little keypad activator. So what I'm gonna do is, let it focus, yep. So what I'm gonna do is, I've undone the screw right at the back. That just pops out there. So then what I'm gonna do is, there's two little markings there for holes. It does say a marker pen. What I'm gonna do, get the drill, tiny drill bit through the little indentations there. And then I'm gonna line it up on the wall where I want it. Pen, pen, move this other way. Pilot hole, put the wall plugs in. Put this over the top, screws in, job done. Hopefully it works out that way, so we'll see how we get on. So, pen, make the markings. And then just draw your pilot holes. So 
basically the drill wasn't powerful enough so we've had to get the big boy out. Uh, we've done a pilot hole with just a little screw, well a little drill bit. And now we're going in for the Mac Dada, so. So now what you want to do is put your wall plug in like so. Put your plate up. And then screw the little babies in. Before we do that, we're going to pull the out so that I think that activates it. Right then, so we're all screwed up. In place, happy days. That's flashing, not too sure why. Uh, and that did go orange just, so I think it's just because the back went on properly. But uh, let's put it on, screw the bottom up, then see where we're at. Right then, so that's the keypad set up as you can see just there. Um, that's set up. Uh, I haven't actually like learnt it to the uh, Smart Hub yet, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to place all the items together and then I'm going to like, pad them in together, so uh, that's the plan. But, so, uh, yeah, let's see how we get on. Uh, on to the next one, hopefully that'll be easy. Right then, so now it's the PIR, uh, exactly the same thing under the screw uh, and you've got all your holes so you've got your ones on the angle so you can see one there one there if you wanted it flat you've got holes there and on the sides so what we are going to do so obviously you like you walk in um, we're going to go for like up there so that the, it faces like over here into the hallway slash <coughs> So if we if our alarm thing's up there, it's focusing on the door and the bottom of the stairs. So if anyone breaks in or an intruder, they've got to come through here. So then that up there should pick up this range. So hopefully, same again, pilot holes, put the screws in, job done. Right then, so just in case I haven't lost anyone, uh, basically we're onto the PIR sensor. Um, we've put it above the door. And right in the corner, same pretty much same process as the uh, keypad, really. It's just it goes nice and nice and sweet like that. So, I've just done my pilot all put me wall plugs in and put the screws in. Now, I'll pull the tab off the back of it, put it in, screw it up, job done. So, into the next item. Right then, so that's that PR set up, just there. So, so far, we have got Smart Hub set up, keypad, and that one. What I mean, what I mean set up, I just mean not installed at the moment. Um, I don't believe any of it's connected to the actual Smart Hub, so uh, like I say, I'm gonna install everything and then go through the process of adding them all onto the smart hub and then connecting my phone but obviously i'll see this um hopefully i can do it in one video if not i'll do it into two because i don't want to bore pe people so let's get on it what do you think of the top anyway any good any good people hopefully <laughs> This should disconnect so this should start. Yeah. There we go. So hopefully that one there will pick up the surrounding area here, which is like ignore the crap, um, which is the back door. So PIR1, so we've got PIR1 covering the front door, PIR2 covering the back door, and then obviously initial what we're going to have to buy additional ones for like the garage and stuff, so then all entrance points are covered. And on to the next one. Well then, so now we're on to the door contacts, we've got this little puppy there, and then this one, so I'm gathering 
you put this one upside down on the actual door frame and then this one goes on the door it's supposed to be like 10 millimeters away but yolo and it, so we'll see if it connects um anti-tampus thing i think that's got to be like pushed all the way in but if you if you own one you'll hear it click anyway so we get double sided tape and stuff so we're just going to stick it to the door even if someone broke in and they ripped this off the door the alarm's going to go off either way so let's so as you can see the door contact is in place it says if you take them apart and put them back together if it lights up and flashes then it, they're in range so hopefully they're in range if not Right then, so now it's getting a bit serious, so I've got to uh, get on the ladders, get up top and uh, stick the, the big boy. So, I'm guessing from what I've saw on the internet and stuff, uh, you unscrew, sorry I had a wobble then, uh, unscrew that one, and then the back plate should come off, and then you literally just screw it on, that's it. Right then, so this is the next part. Uh, we're gonna mount the big Yale alarm sign on the front of the house. Uh, basically there's one screw in it, so we take the screw out, go up to, on the ladders, uh, get the mounting plate. I'm gonna get a pen, mark it in place. Pilot holes, you know the deal, uh, wall plugs, then drill it. Screw it up, make sure, it says something about the spring in the back, so obviously if you can see the spring there, uh, you got to make sure that's compressed in fully so I'm hoping that I sit it up nice on a brick so the brick can actually push it into place uh, so it sits nice and flat. Uh, I'm going to get that screwed up, get it on. Uh, I might let the missus video me while I'm up, upstairs on the uh, ladders and that. Hopefully they don't fall off because it is one freezing, two high and three slippy so if I don't do another video after this then I've uh, fell off the ladder so <laughs> hopefully not. Let's do it. I'm actually dead, you know. Actually dead. Oh my goodness, bro. Right then, you're videoing, yeah. Right then, so because it's so dangerous, she's gonna come downstairs and have a cameraman or put her feet next to the uh, ladders because it's slightly dangerous. Right then, so uh, pilot holes and all that drilled, very, very scary. I've like, obviously, this is my first house, so I've never had to go on ladders that high. It's like I'm trying to drill, and then as I'm trying to pull the drill back out, it's like on the ladders like that, so uh, it's not, not best. Uh, there is the there is the alarm there. It's all on. Uh, made sure the springs proper compressed against the wall so it clicked. Uh, all I gotta do now put the base plate on and hopefully it should be alright. So we'll see what's next to do after that. So put that back on, screw it up, job done. Right then, so uh, our first issue. Um, Everything's like in place. I've uh, just unplugged the, you know, the little tabs that you get with them. So they're all unplugged. Uh, just got the smart hub. Just connected the Ethernet cable. There's a little on switch. You switch that on and then put like a rubber cap over the back of it. All that's done. Uh, just plugged it in. Trying to do the like, initial setup on the app, and it's saying basically just make sure that's on. Uh, password there's a little QR code that you scan on the back to like link it with the mobile and the app um, we just it's all ready to go Bosch connect um, and it's saying that that it's not connecting with a hub so we've, I've done this like twice on my phone three times on my phone uh, the lady's trying it now on her phone and it's just come up not working so we're just trying to we just can't understand why it's not connecting when everything is as it should be uh, in, it's connected to the internet, it's got power, it's switched on, 
all it's got to do is just connect to the phone so uh, like I say if anything don't go well I'll tell you and if it does go well happy days so at this moment in time we can't connect to the smart hub you just keep saying reset and try again so uh, I'll get back to you when that's done and we'll try and explain why it wasn't doing what it should have been <sighs> and literally as I went bang camera done it's connected uh, so yeah it's all done apparently any performing additional setup just like, yeah. performing additional setup so it's yeah I just don't think the smart hub fancied connecting uh, so it's running through the process just a like, simple like phone number email address password that kind of goodness um, yeah I'll, uh, when I get that up, set up we'll uh, see what's next to actually do so uh, right then so we've partially set up uh, we're actually on the app now we've got numerous items actually connected to it uh, I've heard bad things about the app to be fair people say that it is it's a terrible app if you look on the reviews and that on like Amazon etc they, they say that the uh, app is bad I've obviously like ignored that and thought it can't be that bad um, we're stuck on a on an actual uh, door contact I don't know if it's the way the door contact has been applied that it might not be connecting for that reason but I'll try and run things through with you and show you what's actually going on so add new device add new device start pairing mode so learning mode active so then when I press this the smart hub should actually activate which it has it's beeped and all it seems to do is that it doesn't say anything and I could just sit there waiting I, I'm unsure why it's actually doing this so press it again and we're still in the same position uh, right then uh, I think I found out what the problem was so it's not actually yeah, it's uh, myself uh, what I was doing is we was trying to pair up the back door but because we bought one separate and one was like already in the box that was already kind of paired so when we was trying to because we got them both out and just left them on the floor I picked up one of them put them there and I couldn't remember which one was paired and then I was pressing it and I'm thinking why is it not pairing and then it finally ticked that I was pairing one that was already paired so the one that wasn't paired I was just leaving it because I thought it was the other one so that's the reason so if you can't pair anything double check on your settings first because it might actually be already paired uh, my fault um, but yeah it seems seems to be working alright um, get the get the keypad go on focus sun lock and it obviously it's got it's timer for how long it's got to go for so I think it's about 30 seconds so the alarm's active now if I go like this theoretically it should go off we've got 30 seconds so obviously it's got a timer of like 30 seconds so if you do get in your house and you forget that um, you forget that it's armed uh, it will notify you and it's quite good because it notifies me on my watch as well that something's going on so uh, so far so good we need to obviously give it the next couple of days to see how we get on but uh, all motion things seem to be in place and that so it's all groovy uh, hopefully that can help you guys on like how to install it because at least if you kind of see what I've done then it should be a lot easier hopefully if that's the case uh, for you that watch me from my car and that it's something a bit different like I say I was going to do protect your home so different videos and that so uh, thank you for watching it so after like having a mess about on it and that um, this afternoon it does seem quite responsive to be fair um, at this moment in time I can't actually see where the issue was regarding the app being terrible I know when I was trying to pair the phone to the app and that it wasn't the phone to the app the app to the uh, smart hub it wasn't very responsive um, it took about three or four tries 
but now we're actually on a, on the go and that it's like notifying my watch that it's armed and stuff like that so I'm not too sure where the problems have occurred with the app because uh, obviously that's the main thing that that you're going to use so it might put loads of people off but so far so good really so hopefully it stays good uh, if you have any comments questions anything like that or uh, just comment down below uh, I'll link the alarm in the description so any of you guys want to actually purchase that obviously as you do know I think you can add up to 30 items to the actual alarm so you could have door contacts everywhere and stuff like that so uh, yeah I hope you enjoy guys see you later on to the next one